In the final leg of our uh, journey to Prince William Sound, we have about a 35 hour run from uh, Yakutat here today to the entrance to Prince William Sound where there's an anchorage about an hour inside. So that's the plan. Our friends on their boat are behind us that we're, that we're doing the transit with. So I think we're all set and ready to go. You can look outside, it's beautiful this morning, but we're still in the harbor in Yakutat. So gonna go a little ways and cross, cross the Yakutat bar, and then we will be on our way. The forecast is for good, good sea conditions today. So we're hopeful that holds for the next day and a half. And uh, otherwise just get ready to relax. And, Hang find on. something to do and hang on is that what you said <laughs> yeah maybe a little bit of hanging on we'll see we're working our way out of the harbor in Yakutat and we get a sense of what these mountains look like here holy smokes they're gorgeous and uh, we're gonna head that way out and west and north There's the seas looking forward with some blue sky that we're excited to see. We have left Yakutat. We have crossed the bar here that goes into Yakutat. And now we're on an eight hour course to Icy Bay. And then from there, another day to get to Hitchinbrook, which is our entrance to Prince William Sound. We're off. Cruising toward Prince William Sound. Open Pacific to port. Prince William Sound's up there, but you can't see it. It's over 200 miles away. But if we look toward mainland Alaska, look at that view out the window. By 11 a.m., the seas remain really nice. Just a gentle swell and a very light wind chop as we continue our move northwest toward the Hitchinbrook entrance at Prince William Sound. Got about, let's see here, 22 hours left on our run until we hit the entrance of Prince William Sound. It's a view out the front. The sun is bright in the sky. We come inside. The cats are calming down. There's Blake and there's Barkley. I've been spending some time reading uh, the left go book let's if i can show you get the cover this guy it has been really it just gets me really excited about going to prince william sound there's so many cool things to do here the saint elias i think it is um range in the distance and our buddy boat igloo is over there and working our way back Jim's back here, working on bringing you another terrific video. <laughs> but it's calm enough that he can be back here working and that's kind of cool. Paravanes are in the water because we certainly uh, appreciate them and need them. And I think that's it. The 6 p.m. update, 23 or so more hours to go.
continuing on our journey to Prince William Sound. It is about uh, 845 at night. The sun is still pretty high in the sky. Expecting uh, the sun to be up till about 1030 or so, something like that. Anticipated the winds would be dying down this afternoon, uh, but hasn't actually happened. Winds remain uh, about 20 knots off the port bow. But uh, 142 nautical miles, 22 hours to go to make landfall. Well, let's call it less than ideal conditions. Uh, it is, uh, even if it doesn't look that way, looking out the window, 10 p.m. now. We have entered a fog bank. So radars are up and running. We've got multiple targets, AIS targets on the radar and on the navigation system. These are fish boats barely moving. Even though we're in the fog, we've still got 19 knots of wind over the bow. A nice wind shot plus a swell. Just peachy, but this is part of the fun of boating. Part of the fun of boating, Rosie? Oh, oh yeah. 10 p.m., man. Check it out. All right, Jim, what's up? Oh, it's 9 a.m. We've got seven more hours to go uh, to be in Prince William Sound. This is the period uh, now that it's supposed to be nice and calm. We've been running about uh, 26 hours so far, 27 hours. But it is not calm. So a little low pressure moved in against, uh, contrary to all the models, of course it's there now. And it has created a following four or five foot sea and about 20 knots of wind over the stern. And uh, I've said before, if uh, most stabilization systems and paravanes aren't any different, if they have any weakness, it's the following sea. So we're rolling up to you know 15, sometimes 18 degrees each way. and. No, we've gotten spoiled in that rolling at all, so that uh, is not real comfortable, but uh, we're just kind of slogging along at between seven and eight knots. Yeah, the cats aren't very happy with it. Rosie's not very happy with nope. it. Nope. Here's a look out the window. Approaching the entrance to Prince William Sound, our goal. Sea conditions really never have settled out. Still about three foot seas. But we're about an hour out from the Hitchinbrook Island and the entrance to Prince William Sound. Here we are on the chart. We're rounding Hitchinbrook and we're going to go into this Port Etchies to Garden Bay. So this is the entrance to Prince William Sound. Here's how it looks out the window. And take a look at this island. It looks amazing, this Hitchinbrook. This is kind of the side of it. and. Uh, We're in Port Etchies and we're heading into Garden Bay, which is our anchorage for tonight. A very special thank you to Jeff and Shannon on Igloo, our buddy boat partners. Right there, right? right. Yay! 
When we arrived in Prince William Sound, the first place we went to was an anchorage right inside named Port Etchies, and we were met there by Jan and Eric from G'day Charters, the same great folks that made the map of Prince William Sound for us, marked up a chart for us about the favorite places to go. And they met us and anchored out uh, in the same bay with us on the first night, which was really nice to, 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 to meet them. And in the process, they pulled up alongside Sea Venture and gave us a gift package. I can't believe it. Coffee, moose tenderloin, moose sausage, and moose pepperoni. Is that what you call it? Sticks? I'm not sure. From a moose that Eric uh, got a couple years ago, I think. But it was really great to connect up with them again. Eric and Jan from G'day Charters. They run a charter fishing operation out of Valdez. But it was great to, uh, them to, to, to get that. And thank you guys so much. We passed off t-shirts in the same exchange. So they got their Sea Venture t-shirts. And we were just really happy to meet somebody. Uh, and that first night after our passage in Prince William Sound. Good morning. Had a great night's sleep. Now we're off in the morning now, about a eight hour cruise to Cordova. I think we're gonna to try to do some fishing along the way. As you can see out the back, it's dead calm. The view out the front, the chart as we head out. Now, this is all of Prince William Sound. Cordova is way down in this corner down here. So that's where we're headed today. Hey. It's a great day. We got a good rest. We got, we got a good rest. Water. I'm the beneficiary of Rosie claiming to be hungry. I am hungry this morning. <laughs> so, so it's we'll hash browns, rest. bacon, eggs over easy. Cat helping. Barkley ready to help. What a great morning. It was a great crossing. You know, it's a a challenge, you know, we are about 600 miles from Wrangell now. Uh, and uh, very happy to report that uh, once again, nothing is broken, nothing has not worked correctly. Very happy with everything. So now we get to explore Prince William Sound over the next month or so. It's very exciting. It looks like it's going to be a phenomenal place to come cruise. We've been hanging out here, trying our hand at fishing. We got one smaller little halibut, and now uh, no, no, no. looks like we have another one on the line and a cat that wants to come play. So, time to get back to work. I want to see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a nice one. Okay, Rose. Okay, I got to get him. We ended up fishing for about 30 minutes and catching four nice but smaller halibut. It was a great start to our time in Prince William Sound. We then went on to the city of Cordova, where we entered the marina and docked and settled in for a little bit of additional rest, and as it turned out, waiting out a storm. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, all those good YouTube kind of things. It's really appreciated by both myself and Rosie. Wishing you no wind and flat seas.